All right, guys. Well, this starts the long trip up to Erie. Gonna head out to the islands and try and find some smallmouth. Hopefully, make some good videos. Let's hope the fish are biting them. We can find them. Mouth. Oh. Well, at least at least the skunk is off the board. Yes. <laughs> I caught some of the biggest smallmouth ever hooking one of these things up. Oh yeah. That's not a bad idea for a dead stick there. Okay, you don't very often catch a goby there. But if you can catch a goby regularly, then I'll catch you a fish. <laughs> This is what that six pounder came off of. <laughs> Screw legalities. <laughs> I don't think they've heard about you using it for bait. Huh? I don't think they give you a hard time for using it for bait. If you try to take one home alive, they'd freak out on you. If you're using one for bait, I don't think they'd give a shit about that. Oh yeah. Oh, 100%. Oh, that's a good one. There we go. Smalley. He's spitting up gobies. And there went my goby. Oh, yeah. I literally just dropped that thing down there, too. That makes me want to throw more goby imitators. <laughs> yeah, if you had a real goby imitation. I have one. I, bu I, I bought one. Did they have them back there at that beach store? Yep. Alright. Huh. Good color. Yeah, he's a real cool color. He, uh... Also broke my uh, weight off. I don't necessarily know how. You'll make a good selfie. <laughs> yeah, if you wouldn't mind. I'm marking a whole bunch of them right underneath of us. Awesome. Yeah, this fish, if you put on that mat and just look in the water, you shit. Oh, how many fish are really down there? I loved the color on that one. But yeah, I don't know how he did that. It, I saw it fly off too. When he jumped and shook, it's literally like my knot. Oh, did you have the drop shot on there? Yes. Oh. Yeah, and... The, I mean, tons and tons of fish. Uh, I don't feel like tying something else back on. I am really amazed how many fish I'm marking. Yeah, it took like two seconds. I felt it go down. I can't tell. It was shaking like crazy and then bam. As soon as it hit that bottom. Yeah, they say that the goby destroyed the Lake Erie. I'm like, I don't know about that because that's pretty dang good food for them. Yeah, it definitely feeds them, but I guess they eat the eggs and other stuff. They have not been declining. No, they've been rapidly uprising. <laughs> nah, it, so since we saw it, it started that way and it's moved that way. She bad. Maybe, that's shaking its head quite a bit. Well, 
at least you got the skunk off the board, though. He just set that net down. I'll take care of this guy. All right. I'll be needing that on with him in the water. Oh, okay. I'll bring these fuckers to the boat. Slimy. <laughs> Not bad for a first fish, right? I love big sheephead. I don't know why people hate them so much. I got to fight this big, I don't know, five or six pound fucking. I'd, I would definitely say that's probably a six pounder. Five to eight, yeah, pretty close. Yeah, if you want one of these, I have gobies. That's pretty realistic. Here's the most realistic part, part about it. It's how it's how the tail moves. Yeah, that looks good. That looks really, really good. Tis the question. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna come at us or not. It looks like it. Hurt. Yeah, it looks like it's going south because it started way over by the uh, smokestacks. And now it's kind of like wrapped around right where we actually just came from. It looks like it's over Catawba. Yeah, but it seems like it's coming out here now. It's very, very hard to tell. I guess you could just look on radar. See which way it's growing. Well, you work your jerk bait. I can look up the radar. I can do this one handed. Plus, like I said, dead sticking can sometimes be good. We probably ought to run over there and stick our bows and shit in the hotel. E yeah, I would say that's probably a good idea. Is it coming at us? Uh, it, for some reason, my shit's not loading. Yeah, we are out here in the middle of nowhere. But it says I have full service. If we had a bucket of gobies, we'd probably fucking slaughter them. Oh my goodness. I. Well, that's the thing. A live goby, they know it's not a bait. I think the fish are just that smart. Well, they, a finesse bait, they can really come in and look at it. It ain't like a spinner bait just flies through and they hit it on its thing, where a finesse bait, man, they can come in and look at it, really fucking look at it. I can tell you right now, this is definitely a way more comfortable boat out here than a bass boat. Oh, for sure. I mean, it'll take a lot bigger water, too. 